have done wonderful things, and they have come here to share testimonies of what God has done in their lives. I pray that God that gave them testimony will give you testimonies too in Jesus' name. And our brethren online, please, if you have that, it in the chat uh, so that uh, people in the media can, you know, take that and we will share the testimonies to everyone. Praise God. So without wasting time, please uh, testify. You have two minutes each. Without wasting time, I want to go to the first person to testify is um, Sister Helen. Sister Helen, please. This is two minutes is counting already. I know that God has been them. We take care of them for me. I'm genuine. Praise the Lord. Wonderful testimony. I pray that victory in his name. Praise God. The next testifier is Sister Temitokwe. Sister Temitokwe. Everything was not like a miracle. Nothing like problem or you read or you don't understand. Nothing like that. God took control. I really appreciate the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God turned everything around and gave our sister perfect deliverance and perfect victory. And I pray that victory be permanent in Jesus' name. The next person is Sister Iyanu. Sister Iyanu. Thank you. 
went to America and was like, God, for this master's program, I don't want to go. I don't even want to go. And to the glory of God, that did it. But because God perfected everything concerning my health. Also, concerning the finances, it was really a struggle. Helps me. Please also help me. Would you bless the name of the Lord? Last week Thursday, I became a Catholic. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Please give God a round of applause. God took control of all the challenges that our sister had and gave her permanent victory and grant her. A perfect, wonderful graduation. And I pray that blessing will be permanent in Jesus' name. I'm now going to call on Sister, Sister Diana. someone named this person had never known my name and she says yes and they said well tell Deanna the 16th of this month her life will end and she should be very careful and this was um, supposed to be a problem so uh, my dear friend came to me and I didn't know what this was <laughs> and uh, as a very Three says, who is this, you know, that comes and, and says something that doesn't happen, something that God never decreed. God, today, that I this to Pastor Dada and to Pastor Charles, because I wasn't sure what this was. Was it a way that God would communicate with me? I wouldn't think he would go through that, that manner. But then again, um, could it have been, you know, even some, some type of, of bad, you know, curse that had, had been tried to be placed? I had no idea. Uh, words of encouragement and, of course, prayer um, from Pastor Dada and Pastor Charles. And they just said, if there is any such thing, we just reverse it and you will fulfill this for you. <laughs> And uh, so, and said, mark your calendar um, for, and I'm thinking, oh, well, am I supposed to be careful that day, not go anywhere? And he said, mark your calendar for after the 16th, because that is the day you will come to give testimony. <laughs> so my family, this is in front of you, uh, haunting you. <laughs> this is your family. I'm here um, to to hopefully bless you any day. And um, I want to also thank Pastor Charles for the verse from Proverbs to encourage all of you, my brothers and sisters, with, and that is Proverbs 19:21. So we have many voices in this life. Voices, nevertheless. The counsel of the Lord shall stand. Shall stand. Amen. Praise the Lord. There are many counsels in the heart of man, but nevertheless, the counsel of God that shall stand. And the counsel of God will continue to stand in the life of our sister in Jesus' name. And in every one of our lives, the counsel of God stand now and always in Jesus' name. I don't know if we have any testimonies in the media chat. No. All right. That's all the testimonies we have. I pray that God bless in Jesus' name. God bless you all.